So, for example, we chose 7:30, which is before sunrise, because sunrise is at 8:18 today. Sunrise was at 8:18, so we pray 7:30, so that we can finish before sunrise, and it will give some time for people to sleep up until 7:30, so they can come and join. So each time, we'll each prayer will have about two, three, four hours in our length. Within that, we have to pray. So every mosque will you know, choose a time for their congregation, so they can come within that, that time. And they're more focused on the uh, aesthetics and actually uh, some of the other development that could go in there with the space of the building then you could do more better than the last one changes in there. Let's say hello to all the kids. Muslim Art and Culture Festival 
the mosque had to be part of it. Last year, we celebrated the Central Mosque of Manchester, Victoria, and with the Pakistani community, we sort of celebrated. This year, I chose the Bengali community, and this mosque is the largest, <coughs> the biggest, the oldest, and I really want to do it. And I'm very grateful to these wonderful people, this team headed by Imam Hero Huda, straight away said, we'd love to do it, we want to do it. But I did say to them, I said, look, this is not a normal open mosque day where people come and have a talk. We are celebrating the art and heritage of your country. Please do justice to your heritage. And that's what they're gonna do. So there'll be speeches, there'll be information where you learn more about Bangladesh uh, Heritage Center, and of course food. Food lies at the heart of Islam, heart, heart of hospitality. So you will not go hungry as you can imagine. They're busy feeding you there. Good evening, distinguished guests, constituents, ladies and gentlemen, and children. I'm delighted to be here to join this celebration of Bangladesh culture and heritage. This celebration is just one of the around 50 events taking place across Munster as part of Manifest, the Muslim Arts and Culture Festival. Manchester is a diverse city, multicultural, multi-ethnic, promoting tolerance, understanding and friendship between all the faiths and those who have no faith. I am very proud to live in a city where we are committed to the promotion of community cohesion. In 2017, I visited Bangladesh along with my colleagues and community leaders have visited several places, Dhaka, Selets, Hobbigunj, that is Chittagong, <laughs> that is Cox Bazaar, and we also visited his refugee camps, Rangers. And also as a parliament, we met a lot of officials to the, in Bangladesh. I will start by reciting a few words from the glorious Qur'an, which is the most holiest book to Muslims. So directly contributed to the industrial revolution in Britain. The borders of modern Bangladesh were established with the separation of Bengal and India in August 1947, when the region became East Pakistan as a part of the newly formed state of Pakistan following the boundary of the partition of India. Later, after the revolution of nine months, the world's largest mangrove jungle, the home for Royal Bengal Tiger. Royal Bengal Tiger.
It is cheap labour, but they're great for art. Some of the greatest artwork and dye work are done in Bangladesh, and hence why these people want to make it there. So that's a little bit of background on Bangladesh. Let me kindly please welcome Sadia.